Hello, my name is Faith and I'm a customer care at Free SP Radius. In today's tutorial, I'll be guiding you through the process of accessing and, and connecting your LAN devices remotely. LAN devices include routers and access points such as Tender, Ubiquiti Radius and TP-Link. Here is our network topology in action. First, the MicroTik router connects to the internet and we apply our configuration. Next, we plug its LAN port into our local gateway, in this demo, a tender router. From that point on, any device with internet connection and can browse whether it's a laptop or a smartphone can reach the tender remotely. This tutorial will be divided into five key parts. The first part is overview of the dashboard. The second one is configuring the microtik. The third one will be preparing the LAN device, of which for our case we shall be using tender. The fourth one will be accessing the device, adding the device to the dashboard, and then finally it will be accessing the device. On the dashboard overview, we will go straight to the network area. Click network in the left hand menu. On the network page, here you will be able to generate the VPN credentials. You will instantly see two scripts, one for router OS version 6 and for one for version 7. Open Winbox. Check your MicroTix version number, then return and choose the matching script for your router. Next, on the dashboard overview, let's look at the configuration section of the dashboard. Here, you'll find detailed instructions for setting up and any LAN devices. You will copy the NAT script and scheduler commands, though we'll walk you through applying them again during the MicroTix configuration segment. If you scroll further down, you'll see step-by-step -step guides for configuring your other LAN devices. Lastly, on the dashboard overview, go to devices section of the dashboard. Here, you'll find a list of all your registered devices. Click access to log into your device, edit to update its settings, or delete to remove it entirely. And that wraps up this part of the video. For this guide, I'll be using MicroTik 951 version 7, Tender F3 router and Winbox version 4.1. When it comes to configuring your MicroTik RB951, ensure it is online and connected to the internet. Then, download and install version 4.0 of Winbox so that you can follow along with the configuration steps. After downloading and launching Winbox, under the Neighbors tab, please click Refresh to scan the four devices. Be sure your computer is connected directly to the MicroTik either over Wi-Fi or via Ethernet port. We are using port 5 in this demo. When the router's MAC address appears, simply double-click it. If the password field is already populated, Winbox will automatically connect and open the MicroTik interface. With Winbox open, first copy the appropriate script from the dashboard's network section. Once in network section, for our case, we will choose version 7. Back in Winbox, click New Terminal, then paste the script and press enter to run it. Make sure you choose the version 7 script if your router OS version shown at the bottom part of the Winbox starts with 7 or the version 6 script if it starts with 6. Return to the dashboard setup section, scroll down to the PPPoE update script, copy it, open new terminal again, paste it in and press enter. Then do the same for the scheduler commands, we will copy it Open new terminal again and paste it. Next, go to IP, addresses, and find the address beginning with 20. For example, 20.0.0.39. That will be the address you use to connect to the admin panel with your router. Now, in your panel, go to network, name, we will write demo address is the IP we got from MicroTik. Our case is 20.0.0.39. Our username is admin and password here is 12345 and click add router. On step 3, we will prepare the LAN device. Basically, it will be to enable port 80 on, tender, on the tender and the tender should have a password. For the other devices like Ubiquiti, we will have written instructions on the panel on how to configure them. So, once logged into your tender router, 
click here the last option which is administration scroll down to remote web management and click enable you will be prompted for a password if your router doesn't have a password in our case we had already set the password allowed internet users should remain at anyone and the port number should be strictly 80 and then scroll down to save changes finally on step 4 and 5 we will be going through adding the devices in the panel and how to access them remotely in your dashboard panel go to devices and then click add device here we will use tender as a ppoe device the device name can be anything here we will write test router and the type will be ppoe the device type is tender here we will write demo the instructions is to make sure you are providing the exact username as they appear in your main admin panel and which will also be the username that is in microtech under secrets select router here we will choose this and then the port so the ports are from 200 to 400 this means one microtech router can be able to hold up to 200 devices at the moment then click save device once you save the device will appear here just click on this access url to access the router remotely from anywhere that is it for this tutorial and thank you for watching